More, come on. The recent flood in Dubai is the greatest destruction of luxury and exotic cars in human history. The damage. Lee Domino's worker, who tumbled during a routine pizza delivery, has had an incredible change of fortune after. Hey family, hope you guys are doing great and safe. I'm back with another video. So fasten your seat belts. Let's get started. These guys are taking a huge risk for some extra views. What do you think about this video? More, come on. Okay. Woo. Crazy and beautiful. I found this clip online. Not sure whether this is from a movie or somewhere else, but it's creepy. The fishermen were ecstatic when they saw this foamy thing offshore. Why? Because what's inside this VHC foam can potentially change their lives. You see, this is actually fresh and warm whale vomit and it might contain waxy, flammable grey substance known as ambergris used in perfumes, incense and even medicine. Just a pound of this weird mineral could rake in up to $10,000. Only 1% of sperm whales can produce such a thing. So it's indeed very rare. Sperm whales prey on giant squids. It is theorized that to ease the passage of those sharp and hard breaks, the substance is formed inside the whale's intestines. People call it whale vomit, but technically it's whale poop. Location of the video is not provided, but these guys were going somewhere at night and they saw this. So they took out their phone and start recording. Let's see what happens next. Video is coming from Australia. This man uses pool to extinguish grill. That is called quick thinking. Not sure about the location of the video and whatever they are doing in the video, but this crocodile is huge and if we look closely it seems it's not real. Let's watch this video and write your thoughts in the comments below. <clears throat> this video was posted on TikTok. Have you ever seen crabs of this big size? But this ring bells as these crabs are not moving. Are those real? Oh, 
تبارك الله The recent flood in Dubai is the greatest destruction of luxury and exotic cars in human history. The damages in destroyed cars alone are estimated to potentially exceed $1 billion. Internet has literally flooded with videos showcasing the destruction. Of course, not all of them are real, but the most significant losses in the most expensive cars are those that we have yet to see, like in private underground garages that usually house the most expensive cars and to which excess is still blocked due to standing water. In addition to many private cars many exotic car dealer also suffered some were lucky to rescue their car historic weather event for dubai right after jet skis is turned out that electric cars so often hated by petrol heads proved extremely useful as long as the water isn't deep enough to affect their traction This bizarre incident is coming from Brazil where a woman wheeled a man who has no more into the bank and tried to get him to sign off a loan in her name while holding his head up. This video got viral on internet. Let's watch this video and don't forget to leave your thoughts. Não vi. Não, acho que ele não tá legal. Sim. É, ele não tá bem, não. Não, acho que ele não tá bem, não. Será que tá sozinha? Sim. É, ele não tá bem, não. Ó. A corzinha não tá ficando aí. É. Ô, Tite. Tite. Não, não tá não. Se eu ficar bem, você leva pro hospital. Se eu ver que foi de novo. Let's check out this power of Range Rover. This is Range Rover Submarine Mode. Big shout out and special thank you to our supporters Jean Lumber DJ Double Michael Belcott Gisel Van Miol XX Nighthawks Keith Anderson TCF70 and Gitpick You can also join the channel membership and get a shout out like this Click on join button and check it out This art installation is mind blowing round table by Korean artist Ru Ram Choi is held up by 18 headless trough figures that took as if they were balancing a ball the inanimate objects managed to keep a steady ball movement is what truly an eerie display the owner of 16 million dollar mansion which is falling into the ocean refuses to leave his home There was no doubt about it. The launch was spectacular. It was a tremendous moment of triumph for the city of Cleveland. But unfortunately, this moment of triumph did not last long. The expectation was that the helium-filled balloons would float around for a while before eventually deflating and returning to Earth one by one. But that wasn't what happened. And the wind is just getting just enough that the balloons are now trailing fast. There's a good one. Balloons are coming back this way. They're coming back. The cold air and oncoming rain immediately pushed the still inflated balloons, tens of thousands of them, back down towards the ground in droves. The result was mass chaos. Balloons, one and a half million of them, caused quite a stir in Cleveland yesterday. It was a northerly wind quickly carried the balloons to Berkeley Front Airport. 
alert, and within minutes, the runways were so clogged that all flights had to be suspended. The balloons also started to descend on certain streets, and after a number of car accidents, these roads had to be closed until a bulldozer arrived to clear out the balloons. As all this was going on, the Coast Guard was still out looking for the two missing fishermen. Ironically, that big balloon launch in Cleveland today is one of the things that's making this search so tough for the Coast Guard. Balloons had descended on Lake Erie in massive quantities. There are 60% of the balloons launched landed here instead of the planned 10%. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack here. Can you imagine trying to find somebody floating out here or even spotting a life jacket with all these balloons on the water? On September 29th, two days after the balloons were launched, the Coast Guard finally called off the search for the two missing fishermen. And shortly after, both men's bodies washed ashore. Balloon Fest was featured in the 1988 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records. However, that was the only edition to include it. And shortly after, Guinness ended the category of balloon launching altogether. Are you okay? I Are you okay? Are you hurt? <laughs> Domino's worker, who tumbled during a routine pizza delivery, has had an incredible change of fortune after the video of her fall was shared online. 72-year-old Barbara Gillespie had her hands full as she attempted to deliver one family's pizza order. She tripped on a small step leading up to the front door and fell onto a chair spilling her delivery as she went down. Sorry. Are you okay? I fell. Are you okay? Are you the hurt? moment was captured on the family security camera, which showed homeowner Kevin Keegren rushing to her side and asked if she was hurt, but Ms. Gillespie apologized for dropping the order despite struggling to get back onto her feet. Kevin's wife Lacey decided to upload the video to TikTok and started a GoFundMe page to offer the Domino's worker a tip. So Lacey I also to took to TikTok to swat down any rumors from the get-go of making the incident up. Delivery employee by the name of Barbara. A few people messaged me and just weren't sure if this was true um, and that we didn't just steal the video off of the internet somewhere. So just wanted to show you. We did get lava cakes. Nothing was empty. This is the smush pasta container. As you can see and we wanted to try and earn some money and hopefully just help so that she won't have to work as much. The couple and two of their five children decided to pay Ms. Gillespie a visit at the Domino store, unbeknown to the elderly worker. After the video ignited a mass of interest, more donations flooded in, surpassing Barbara's GoFundMe goal and reached a total of $275,000. Domino's told Good Morning America the elderly worker is a beloved member of their team and shared that she was recently awarded with Team Member of the Year in 2022. But thanks to the Kegrun family and donators worldwide, Barbara was able to retire in February of last year. Guys, one of our subscribers is selling compression socks. If you are looking for one, then you can buy compression socks from Moon Sunsets on Amazon.com. Link is given in the description below. At least check out once. And I would like to clarify that I have not charged any money for this shout out. It's just a helpful gesture. For people in the Philippines experiencing extreme heat, there is one upside to the weather. The hot dry conditions reveal this centuries old sunken island. It still has the ruins of an old church that locals say was worth taking a boat trip out to explore the land. When I heard about the sunken church of the old Pantabanyan town resurfacing, I got excited and wanted to see it, so I decided to join the trip. After seeing it firsthand, I was in awe. I didn't know such a place existed. The Philippines experiences a dry season about this time of year. Reports say when water levels are normal, all they can see is part of the cross sticking out of the water. 
While it doesn't happen every year, when the water recedes, it's exciting for visitors and fishermen. I've been fishing in these waters since I was in elementary school, but I've only seen the ruins of the church three times in my life. I was only earning 200 pesos for fishing, but when the tourists arrived, I'm earning 1500 to 1800 per day. Anyone exploring is... An artificial intelligent robot has stolen the spotlight on a sports day at Peking University for its unique grandma style walking and posture. It's showcased on the sports ground as a secret guest and cheered for the student athletes. Local officials in Japanese town are erecting a barrier to block view of Mount Fuji. The popular social media spot near a convenience store has gone viral, drawing hundreds of unwanted tourists and causing overcrowding, littering and illegal parking. The new barrier is expected to be completed by mid-May 2024. <laughs> It's not uh, like Instagram, we see the, the reality, <laughs> a, a lot of people, it's not, uh, it's not natural. Uh, yes, I've read about it, um, it's a problem I think for circulation, it looks like it's one of the main roads to go to the uh, railway. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll request you to please like the video, share with your friends and family and post a comment. I'll see you in next video. Till then, take care. Peace. Bye-bye. God bless.